probably mess with some audio settings here. Uh, let's see how that goes. Uh, can you hear me okay? Please let me know. Um, if anyone's here. I don't know if anyone's on yet. Uh, let's get started. There we go. Actually, I have a game disc. Let's see if this... Okay. It should work. Here we go. Okay, so I thought since I've played through Ocarina of Time a lot of time, bleh. since I've played through Ocarina of Time so many times, I figured I'd try Master Quest, which is a little bit different and going to be a little bit more difficult. Um. And so it should provide at least something somewhat fresh, a few fresh reactions, so that'll be nice to try something new. The general story is still going to be the same, but the dungeons will be rearranged a bit. So that'll be fun.
Try turning the game down volume down a little bit more. Is that better? Hello. Try turning it down in the option. The 
That's good. That's good. It's been so long since I've played this. I think the last time I played it was in school last year on the phone. That was interesting. <laughs> first, of course. The house of the bully. Take all his money. If I can get to the chest. Yeah, the controls are a little bit slippery. Now we are fully equipped 
to enter the first dungeon. I think I looked into the different levels of Twitch. Um, I have no idea if I'll ever reach anything higher than just what I have now. That'd be fine. Could have tried, I know there's a glitch. It allows you to just skip past any character blocking a doorway like that. But I'm in no rush, I'm not really speedrunning this. Sort of playing through it. Really face. Should I be reading these out loud? I have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> uh, servants of evil gain strength. The vile climate pervades the land and causes nightmares to those sensitive to it. Verily, thou hast felt it. Link, the time has come to test thy courage. I have been cursed. I need you to break the curse with wisdom and courage. Not power. Dost thou have the courage enough to take this task? No. Perhaps you do not yet have confidence in your abilities. Return to the Kokiri Forest to learn the skills of combat. When thou art ready, return here and speak with me by using it. Okay, I wasn't expecting that. I was expecting just the usual are you sure message to keep appearing. Okay, there we go. I wonder if even the first dungeon is remixed. If it is, this will be different. I'll be going into this completely blind opposed to uh, just being able to go through this in like a matter of minutes. Okay, that's... Now that's different. That's not normally there. It looks like even down to the first dungeon has been remixed a bit. So that should be fun. Trying out some new stuff. That's also not normally there. The vanilla version for the 64. Okay. Where is that? Yeah, this is this is gonna be difficult. There's a lot of stuff here that's new. This is gonna be fun. Oh. 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 Oh.
Just roll my way down either. There's got to be some sort of here. Or. probably wouldn't disappear. Oh, 
Oh. Okay. That 
button's a bit different. Okay. Uh, I'm assuming I won't... Oh. I bet if I step on this button there, then that'll go on. Oh. Um. 
Oh, this is very, very different. with a hook shot. Go. Into the 
green sludge. Okay, let's see if I can remember. Two. Trying to think how many Zelda games there are that you can get a fourth heart before the first dungeon. I know you can in Majora's Mask and Wind Waker. Not sure about Twilight Princess, maybe? in that sacred realm that one will find the divine relic to the Triforce, which contains the essence of the gods. Before time began, before spirits and life existed, three golden goddesses descended upon the chaos that was hard.
thin. With a strong flaming arm, she cultivated the land and created the red earth. Wisdom into the earth and gave the spirit of law to the world. Pharaoh, with a rich soul, produced all life forms who would uphold the law, aside from plants which were already there. Providence means law. If I'm right on that, then that means they base their entire form of government on three triangles. <laughs> Thou must never allow the desert man in black armor to lay his hands on the sacred Triforce. Thou must never suffer that man with his evil heart to enter the sacred realm of legend. That evil man who cast the death curse upon me and sapped my power. Because of that curse, my end is nigh. Though your valiant efforts to break the curse were successful, I was doomed before you started. Yes, I will pass away soon, but do not grieve for me. I have been able to tell you of these important matters. This is Hyrule's final hope. Until the next game. And then the next game. Link, go now to Hyrule Castle. There thou wilt surely meet the Princess of Destiny. Take this stone with you. Stone that man, the stone that man wanted so much that he cast the curse on me. You got the Kokiri's emerald. Spiritual stone of the forest, now entrusted to you by the great Necro Tree. The future depends on thee, Link. Thou art courageous. Navi the fairy, help Link to carry out my will. I entreat you, Navi. Good. Go to Hyrule Castle, Link. Goodbye, Great Deku Tree. Well, you appear to have been here, literally. Hey, Link, what did you do? The Great Deku Tree, did he die? How could you do a thing like that? It's all your fault. There two seconds ago. I knew that you would leave the forest someday, Link. Because you are different from me and my friends. But that's okay, because we'll be friends forever, won't we? Oh, 
want you to have this ocarina. Please take good care of it. And I will. Until I get a blue one. Then it will never be seen again. He received the fairy ocarina. This is a memento from Saria. Set it to C and use C to start playing it. On select item subscreen, you can set it to left, down, or right, and then use that C to start playing it. You can play different notes with A and the four C buttons, and press B to quit playing, or to start your song over. my ocarina, I hope you will think of me and come back and force to visit. out here and go fill up my uh, water bottle so I can have water to drink because I'm starting to get a bit parched. So I'll be right back. Okay, and back. Oh, that's a lot better. Okay. has finally come for you to start your adventure. You encounter many hardships ahead. That is your fate. Don't feel discouraged, even during the toughest times. Go straight this way and you will see Hyrule Castle. You will meet a princess there. If you are lost and don't know which way to go, look at the map. 
The areas you have explored will be shown on the map. Press Start to enter the subscreen and L or R to find the map. On the map subscreen, you will also see a flashing dot showing you which way you should go next. Did you get all that? Thank you for the welcome back. Um, Alright then, I'll see you around. Hoot, 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 hoot. <laughs> start ramming into trees for money. shield. Oh, it might be a good... Eh. I'll wait on that. My tiny little wooden shield should suffice. Should be good for now. Inside the castle. Just ahead, be careful not to get caught by the guards. Mm -hmm. On the ground on this ground, time flows normally. But time stands still while you are on a long, long ranch or in a town. If you want time to pass normally, you'll need to leave town. Well well, which way are you going to go now? Do you want to hear what I said again? No. You're a smart kid. Good luck then. Mm -hmm. I 
look at the Smash Bros. stage. Everything looking alright. I'm getting a message on my side saying something about me putting the world. Just gonna ignore it for now. Yeah! <laughs> 
think there's a way to close it in the have the egg equipped. I'm telling the owner of Mom, Mom on Rage. I went to the castle to deliver some milk, but I sat down here to rest and I guess I fell asleep. Mm -hmm. Whew, sorry. I'm a little bit tired. Uh, what? What? Not very good at voice acting. <laughs> I 
have to practice and get better at that. Yeah. Excuse me.
Stones on the pedestal of time. That's a lot of time. <laughs> This is interesting, because if I'll leave my theories for another time, don't want to spoil the game for anyone who hasn't played it yet. Thank you. 
the buttons as fast as I thought I could. There we go. And oh, okay, that's and continue this another time. Maybe you play a different game for a little bit. If unless you guys want to keep going. I think I'll switch to another game for now, then. Um, I'll play that for a little bit. Here we go. Uh, let me get my controller set up for a little bit, or for a moment here. Switch to the right control scheme. Here 
goes. Okay. <sighs> my name is Captain Olimar. While traveling through space, my ship was struck by a meteor. I must have blacked out, and I awoke on the surface of a weird planet. With so many parts lost, the skeletal hole of my beloved dolphin is a painful sight. The engine is gone. I'm stranded. To make matters worse, my atmospheric sensors indicate the planet's environment contains high levels of poisonous oxygen. My life support systems can function for only 30 days. If I can't repair the dolphin by then, no, better not think about it. I must find my the missing ship parts. <laughs> thing has appeared before me. If it, I had barely begun my search when it reared up as if it were waiting for me. It then dropped a single seed. What is it? Is it alive? Is it a machine? It resembles a vegetable on my home planet that we call an onion. I shall call this an onion too. <laughs> that the onion drop took root in the soil and has now produced an adorable little sprout. The sprout emits a strange light and it sways back and forth without benefit of wind. I cannot help but think it is calling to me. I am compelled. I must approach it and press A. Extraordinary. When I plucked the sprout, it turned out to be a living creature, not a plant. Picking it has done no visible damage. It just stands there, staring at me. Its shape is similar to the Pick Pick brand carrots I love so much. I believe I shall call it a Pikmin. Here I am, stranded on a toxic planet, fighting survive, and yet I'm intrigued. I must research this fascinating creature. I shall try to grab it and throw it with A, and I will call it to my side with B. Perhaps it will react with C and X as well. The following controls appear to allow several viewpoints. L to rotate the camera, R to zoom in and out, Z to change angle. I must survive. I need to fertilize... <laughs> fertilize? <laughs> I need to familiarize myself with these controls and surroundings. <laughs> we must fertilize with the controls. <laughs> Astonishing. The onion has sown more seeds. The small red pellet the Pikmin harvested after cutting down a flower appears to be some type of food that can propagate more Pikmin. The onion seems to be a sort of incubator. Needless to say, I must study this strange life for more.
Okay, I'm gonna change my controls for this a little bit. Uh, configure. Okay, let's try this. That's a lot better. Pikmin are curious as children. They form groups to perform tasks that would be impossible for an individual. A glimmer of hope has begun to shine in my heart. If I can make use of their skills, perhaps I can fix my ship. I shall sum up all I've learned of Pikmin time. Approach or press A to pick sprouts, press A to grab Pikmin and release the threat. Press B to call them, X to dismiss, use C to command, and control the group. L, R, and Z control perspective. I should record all of this in my computer. I can press Y to access the computer. Which also has some very good information in it, such as controls and uh, where all my Pikmin are. Which is the most useful. <laughs> Like to try and go with losing as few as possible. Especially losing the time. I find it rather tedious to pluck them from the ground individually. My wife always told me I was no good at routine tasks. I guess I'll try to get it all done at once by repeated, repeatedly tapping A until I pick all the Pikmin from the ground. I've noticed that when I add Pikmin to my group, they become filled with excitement and flushed with bright color. At other times, they revert to a paler hue and give off a dim glow. Paying close attention to these differences is bound to help me distinguish between Pikmin. Thank <laughs> you. 
It's amazing. There's no mistaking it. My ship's engine rests before my very eyes. By a stroke of pure luck, I have already stumbled upon the most important piece of my damaged craft. Fate has smiled upon me, but... How will I get it back to the dolphin? How indeed. Glorious. With the help of these Pikmin, I've taken a huge step back toward home. My ship can once again lift off. The glimmer of hope is beginning to burn more brightly. But what has become of the remaining parts? That search starts tomorrow. surface, or have they merely decided to join me for other reasons? Either way, it seems it will help me again tomorrow. The dolphin is missing 29 points. If I can't recover them all, I may never return home to my family on planet Caldecat. Analysis shows life support systems will function for only 29 more days. How can I repair my dolphin in such a short time? A dense forest is visible on the surface below. As it holds the key to my survival, I am the forest of hope. I explore it tomorrow. My dolphin has returned to the surface along with the Pikmin's onion. Being alone on this strange planet makes me somewhat uneasy, so I shall call the Pikmin out of the onion. All I need to do is stand in the light beneath the onion and press it. Thank you. 
if there's a ship part right over there. But I want to focus on getting in there first. As well as the ship part and the stem population. So, let's start with this little thing. It's the Eternal Fuel Dynamo. It has an unlimited energy supply. I won't have to worry about saving electricity anymore. This will make my flight my fight for survival a bit easier. There we go. Perfect. Fuel dynamo. This should light things up. No more candles for me. I have now reached two of recovered two of thirty parts. If I can find just three more, I should be able to increase my ship's capabilities. Thank <laughs> you. 
while they're doing that, I can go back to the ship with this group and start to put away a few Pikmin. For uh, reasons. Probably should stay with them over there as once that falls. My clock has indicated the coming of noon. From now on, I must pay close attention to the sun meter on my monitor and choose my actions accordingly. So, it is best for me to review my monitor's data. Across the top of my monitor are the sun meter and data display. At the bottom are my spacesuit damage meter and Pikmin gauges. From the left, those numbers reflect Pikmin under my command, Pikmin in the field, and total Pikmin, including those in the islands. To adjust my monitor, I can press L to rotate the camera, R to zoom, and Z to change viewpoint. I can pr also press Y to view a detailed computer analysis. Hey, excuse me. I think we should get about to maybe day five. And then I think I'll end stream. is different, but it seems to be a Pikmin nonetheless. First glance suggests this one has what, in some circles, could be considered very large ears. It looks like it may weigh less than the others. In what other ways might it be different from the red Pikmin? No matter, they are obviously quite similar, so I shall call this one a Pikmin as well. Thank you. 
we're going to stay up. As soon as we can. So, since we'll be coming back the next day, I'm going to leave most of these planted for now. After this batch, I'll stop picking them and I'll just start growing them. Make the rest planted. is indicating the approach of sunset. Pikmin waiting beneath the dolphin and onions will probably enter the onions on their own. But if I don't call the stragglers and add them to the, my group, they may not be able to get back. I am sure that the Pikmin plant still plant bleh, that the Pikmin still planted are safe. But I am somewhat concerned about leaving Pikmin to fend for themselves in the darkness. That's all of them. Let's check our map. We do not have a map yet. Whoops. Okay. So for now, we'll just start picking up as many of these as we can. Actually, it might be good to leave them overnight. I'll do that. Pikmin have picked up some peculiar stones. Why did they decide to grab them? This action seems to be instinctive to the yellow Pikmin. But just what are these strange glowing rocks? The brightly glowing cracks cover them. Perhaps these cracks indicate that there's tremendous power locked away in, within. The, this merits further research. days since impact. It appears that many of my ship's parts have landed in this region. If I can just recover the parts of my radar, I should be able to use my radar screen. 
how that would improve my chances. Then I'd only have to press Y to locate my parts. Yet, there seem to be many hostile items here. If I'm attacked and my spacesuit takes damage, I must return to my ship. Stand in front of it and press A to make suit repairs. As I explore, I must pay attention to my suit's damage meter in the bottom left corner of the screen. Check this really quickly. I need to check my controls, see what's going on here. Sorry, I am desperately trying to figure out how these control settings are working. Um... Yeah, that should be... There shouldn't be anything interfering with that.
can't do that. That's only in the Wii version. Okay. Uh, that's... That's interesting. Okay. Uh... I can work with that. to be a little bit different than I'm used to. open the stone walls that block the pathways. I may even be able to use them against some of the wild creatures. I must be vigilant. Pick them I dismiss by pressing X from the bombs when I call them back. Pikmin, I throw by A by pressing A drop their bombs when I call them back. Keep clear of the explosion. When I touch Pikmin directly, they keep their bombs and fall in line. That's very different than I'm used to. And after this, after this day I might end stream and I might just wait until I get a capture card to play this on the Wii, since I'm more used to the controls there and since the controls are just better there, since they allow for more. Version of holding a Pikmin, I can switch between different Pikmin colors by just pressing a button. Uh, is it better now? I think I'm just gonna hold off on playing this until I can get a capture card. Okay, um... I don't know what to do about that. Let me know if it gets better. Uh... How about now? In what way is it distorted? Okay, um, hmm. 
I don't know what to do about that. I don't have my Twitch up, so it shouldn't be... It shouldn't be copying from there. I don't have anything else up that would play back the audio. input, okay. Um, I don't have filters, filters, um, properties. Is it, has it gotten better? I didn't. I just went to look at the controls here, so nothing should have changed. Is it still echoey? How about now? That shouldn't be happening. Uh, I'm going to restart the stream and see if that fixes things. So I'll see if that works. It could just be... It wouldn't be just an echo in my room, would it? Okay. It could just be echoing in my room, because my room does echo a little bit. Okay. I also don't know how far behind it is. Okay. Uh, okay, so then it's probably behind. Um, type yes or whatever yes in the chat when you get this so that I know how much of a delay I have. So I can sort of gauge when responses happen. Okay, so far it's looking like I'm more than a minute behind. That could be problematic.
Okay, I'm going to look at Twitch. And I'm going to see about low latency. See if I can change that, because it seems that this is very... It seems the stream is on high latency right now. Sorry, I'm trying to figure out how I can lower latency on it. Maybe home. Oh, this is difficult. Okay, I'm already in low latency, so I don't know if there's a way that I can get any quicker with responses. Um... This is a problem. I don't think there's a way I can change latency. Um, hmm. I'll just try, I guess, starting. Oh, okay. Uh, I just didn't know how much of a latency I had. Just a minute.
I'm back. Um, I guess for now we'll just go back to this. Find out. Um, okay, here we go. I think I do have this. Yeah! 
button. Probably gonna end up so you can just watch. Sleep well.
race to the finish. Ready? Go! Complete! Versus Metal Jiggly Pop. Ready? Go!
didn't count the other one because I quit before it.